Hey guys, welcome to BT Travel. I'm Natasha King, your Bajan tourist. And today I am taking you on a mini tour of some beautiful spots around Barbados. And we're getting that tour started right here with this lion. And if you ask any Barbadian where I am, they'll tell you. I'm at Gun Hill, Gun Hill Signal Station. So let's go up to the top of the hill and see the station and get the tour started. Built in 1818, Gun Hill Signal Station was one of six stations used to signal the approach of enemy ships, the arrival of cargo ships, foretelling time and hurricane warnings. Strategically positioned, it has breathtaking panoramic views of the island from east through south to the west. The Barbados National Trust restored the signal station in 1982 and is responsible for maintaining the historic property. Among the beautifully landscaped gardens is a winding path that leads to the signal tower where you will find rooms full of interesting memorabilia. The lion which Gun Hill is known for sits at the bottom of the hill and was carved in 1868 by military personnel posted there. The popular tourist attraction is open to the public Monday to Friday from 8 to 5 p.m. and hosts private functions on the weekend. It's a beautiful location where people come to take in the views or grab a coffee and use it as an office for the day. Definitely worth a visit. From St. George, we head to the beautiful parish of St. John to another location of historic significance, which overlooks draw-dropping views of the East Coast. Welcome to Codrington College. Codrington College is the oldest seminary in the Western Hemisphere, established in 1745, and it's also the most historic tertiary institution in the Caribbean. It is beautiful. Let's take a look. Sitting on a sprawling 22 acres, Codrington College was built with the proceeds bequeathed by Christopher Codrington III upon his death in 1710 to establish the college that exists today. The institution's mission is to be the center of excellence in the delivery of theological studies. The majestic palm tree line driveway, the captivating views of the East Coast, and the beautifully landscaped grounds is a feast for the senses. And it reflects the benefactor's desire for the college to be an environment that was conducive to both studying and reflection. The stunning architecture and the atmosphere of perfect peace and tranquility is a draw not only for priests in training, but for locals and tourists alike. Ideal for a relaxing day out, there are picnic tables and benches, and a lily pond inhabited by ducks and fish that love nothing more than to be fed by the visitors. Time to say goodbye to this beautiful sanctuary and get a bite. Eating these cuties have made me very hungry. Did someone say Valmas? Those who know me know, if I'm exploring and need to fill up on great Bajan food once I'm close, I'm stopping off to see my fave St. Joseph resident, Velma. Velma and her food never disappoint. Velma's, <laughs> she's always so good to me. Can I just show you guys the plate? I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this food, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I definitely didn't eat all of it and could only manage to drive along the East Coast Road to get some footage after that big meal. So our mini tour ended up being more mini than we expected, but we will pick this up soon again. So that's it for today. I'm Natasha King, your Bajan tourist. This is BT Travel, and until next time, enjoy all those spectacular Bajan views.